Hello everyone. Um, hope you're well. A happy Sunday to you all. Um, I am speaking to you from my bedroom, as you can see, uh, and I thought I'd give you an update on, on what's going on at the moment and maybe some prayer requests as well. So, about three weeks ago, the director of the prison changed, and some of the girls um, decided to protest the change and involved a lot of the girls in the prison, and there was a riot in the evening. So, as a result of this, the prison's kind of been in lockdown. I've been in and out a wee bit, and I've seen, there's, there's about 16 girls who weren't involved in this, so I've seen them from time to time. But uh, at the moment, the prison is without a director as they try and find a new one. And most of the girls are in their rooms all day, every day. They're eating there. Occasionally, I've been seeing girls sweep leaves and scrub floors. But I think most of the time, they're in their, in their rooms. Anyone that was doing the Bible course had their Bible taken away from them. They're not allowed any reading material. And I can't imagine it's a particularly positive environment, although the girls that I've seen seem to be bearing up okay, and others that are stuck in the rooms shout out to me, senor, senor, miss, miss, and, and wave when I go past to my classroom. So, um, you know, they're, they're dealing with it, but they're not speaking to their family, they're not getting their lessons, they're not getting out very much. Um, and this punishment's going to be another a further three weeks, I think, before they go back to their routine Presumably, more or less as it was, although with a new director, there may be changes. So if you guys could pray for, for the girls that are, are there at the moment, there will be some girls that are, I imagine, that will be bosses in the, in the rooms that they share. Um, because some of them are definitely more lively than others, and there will be others that, that, that are followers. And I, I suspect that as they spend more and more time just in those close quarters, rather than within the freedom of getting out, as they usually do, that's going to be getting harder for them. And they're not speaking with their families or anything either. So that could really do with prayer. Um, I am, as I say, I'm teaching about 16 girls that weren't involved still. So my classes of 20 have gone down to classes of sort of three or four at a time, maybe seven on a good day. Um, and we're doing things like this. I thought I'd show you some examples of what we've done. So this is um, a workshop, a worksheet on colours and the body and vocabulary that they've learned, um, and some stuff on adjectives that we're going to do next week. And I do games with them as well, and just try to get them to speak and try saying things in English. And with the guitar, we're continuing just to learn basic chords and basic strumming patterns. And on the Wednesday, I'm continuing to teach the the uh, the guys on parole. It's a mixture of girls and boys. Some of them have really got a natural gift for guitar and I'm worried will overtake me shortly. So <laughs> the prayer that I can keep one step ahead, and, and this is a serious request, that, um, that, that I can find stuff that they can do. Some of them have a, a real aptitude for the guitar and it's not an instrument I play very often. So it, that's really good that they're finding something and it's lovely to have them discover a, a talent and a skill that they can enjoy. But it would be good to foster it well. Um, so that's the work and Spanish study continues, um, life in general continues. I mostly spend time either sleeping or preparing lessons or occasionally I got to the gym for the first time in a couple of weeks yesterday. We're now in the rainy season so in the afternoons it buckets down every day. It's quite fantastic the amount of water that falls from the sky and quite remarkable how quickly the streets just become rivers. Uh, of water, but um, rather exciting and always lots of thunder and lightning to go with it. So I was singing on the bus <laughs> on Wednesday. I was singing raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, but sort of watching under my voice. Um, but generally things are well. Um, tired from time to time, but getting rest, getting food, getting sleep, and feeling good when I see the, the kids that I'm working with. It's uh, good to be part of of their daily routine. So thank you to you all for continued support and prayers. And as I say, I hope this finds you well. And I hope you'll have a, a really good summer holiday. Lots of love and God bless. Bye for now.